Dysplasia. In this video podcast, we will discuss important principles regarding dysplasia. By the end of the presentation, you should understand the different types of dysplasia, examples of abnormal stimuli which lead to dysplasia, and the stepwise progression from pre-malignant to malignant cells. Dysplasia is dysfunctional cell growth involving abnormal morphological changes. There are four ways cells can become dysplastic. Firstly, cells can grow large in size. This is called hypertrophy. Or they can grow large in number. This is called hyperplasia. Cells can also shrink or decrease in number. We refer to this as atrophy. And finally, cells can also change type. We refer to this as metaplasia. These changes occur due to some abnormal stimuli to the cells. These stimuli could be non-carcinogenic, such as chronic irritation from smoke. However, the stimuli could be carcinogenic, which could cause genetic damage to the cells. Dysplasia is often part of a pre-malignant process. We will use stratified squamous cells as an example. Recall that stratified squamous cells exist as such and are bound to a basement membrane. With an abnormal stimulus, such as a genetic abnormality, cells lose general regulation over growth and proliferation. They begin as low-grade dysplasia, which means the cells are not too different from the original selves. However, without removal of the stimulus, in this case, genetic damage, the dysplasia only gets worse. It then changes to medium grade and finally high grade dysplasia, where the cells are very different from their original selves. High grade dysplasia is also termed less differentiated because they lose their original tissue specificity and the mutations cause them to form odd cell types which have no differentiation in the body. Finally, once the dysplasia takes the entire height of the epithelium up to the basement membrane, it is referred to as carcinoma in situ. Essentially, this means that the cells are high grade and ready to be invasive, like a cancer, but they have not yet penetrated the basement membrane. Unfortunately, most carcinoma in situ do penetrate the basement membrane and then begin invading other regions. Once they break past the basement membrane, they are referred to as invasive carcinomas, or basically cancer. This concludes our discussion on the important principles regarding dysplasia. For further information, you can refer to the Basic Oncology Principles module and our video podcast about the different modalities of treatment on learnoncology.ca. Thank you.